This is Mac OS X El Capitan, the latest version just announced by Apple at WWDC 2015. This isn't a huge update, but it brings a few key features and performance enhancements that should make the experience of OS X faster and cleaner. The first enhancement is to Safari. There is now a feature to pin tabs so that they will always be there when you want them. This is useful if you have a website you constantly visit, and it allows you to keep your tabs even more organized than before. There's also a universal mute feature, and this helps you locate where audio is coming from from a site and even across tabs, so if you want to mute something really quickly, it's very easy to do so. Another app that was updated is Notes. Now there are more formatting options that allow you to make headers and change sizes. You can also create lists and add links and photos directly from the app. And this update goes hand in hand with the update to iOS 9, so all your notes will sync over with these new features. Mail is another app that has been updated, and this gives you new gestures to swipe to archive and mark as unread, similar to an iOS, and there's now the ability to have multiple composed tabs in a single window, and the ability to hide an in-progress message for later. Spotlight has also received an update. There's now natural language enhancements and contextually aware search, so you can type more things and get better results. For instance, you can search for a specific term in your email and it will bring back those results. And this makes Spotlight much more powerful. Metal was released for iOS to give better performance for CPU and graphics usage. Now, in El Cap, it comes to OS X. This is a feature that can give 50% improvements in rendering and 40% less CPU processing power for graphics. And it offers better battery life and improved graphics performance for both games and professional apps. So overall, El Cap should run smoother, more efficiently, and faster. Lastly is improvements to window management. Now you can pin windows to the side of a screen to make multitasking even easier, and you can adjust full screen apps easier by adding them to their own desktop right from Mission Control. So those are some of the main features coming in OS X El Capitan. There aren't a ton of new user features, but there are a lot of refinements that should make the OS X experience better. It's in beta right now for developers, but a public beta will be available in July, and the full free release will be available in the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. My name is Matt with MacRumors, and we will see you in the next one.